Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to share uh, the way we control building heights using an attractor. In this case, what I've done here is that using this dummy, uh, I can control the building heights, the several building heights here. So it's basically the dummy is the attractor for the building has. If the building is closer to the dummy, then the height of the building will get lower. So uh, to do that, we can start uh, the fresh one using the box as our buildings make it like 10 by 20 for example then 10 for the heights then to have uh, the transformable box we use uh, the expose transform here and then link it to the box and we want to get the control of the X Y and Z positions by using the expose transform. So we click align, click the box, and then choose the X and Y and Z position. Then before we're going to animate uh, the building, we need to have the attractor, the dummy. And then click the box and do the animations by using these wire parameters. And then you want to control the height, so we choose the object, uh, the box, and then height, and then link it to the expose transform. And then we want to make it attract to the distance of the uh, dummy. Uh, click the connect for the height, and then use the expressions uh, to rescale the building heights. Like in this case, we want to make it a quarter. And yep. So currently the box or like the buildings is not attracted or not generated by, by the dummy. So to do that, we need to click the expose transform and then modify it. Uh, change the parameters here. So click this one as the box and then the reference uh, is the dummy so the dummy is the reference for the box and then so that here we can have a building that is uh, controlled by the dummy the distance from the dummy and then to have the block of buildings um, use the the array and then click two dimensions you want to make like 10 and then get to the y-axis to 20 then a you want to make it the x into like 30 for the cap then don't forget to click the copy because if you use the instance all the buildings will get the same height and uh, the the building is not attracted differently to the uh, dummy so click the copy and then here we already have uh, the buildings that is controlled by the dummy so this technique is very helpful for architects and urban designers to model their works to control the heights of several buildings if they have like a, a pressing projects or like big scale of like proposal hopefully it's helpful for you all thank you very much